All right, gang, welcome back. And uh, we're down to five. So we've got one, two, three, four, five figures left. And what I'm gonna do is do the old trusty six-sided die. And if I roll six, I'll do a re-roll. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. That's uh, de gonna determine who we open next. So let's roll it. Okay, we've got our six-sided die. Let's roll over up. Four. Interesting. I was uh, kind of predicting this would happen. One, two, three, four. And that is good old Wolverine. Okay, so basically why I said I wasn't surprised that uh, that was going to happen. Because I was just thinking to myself, uh, wouldn't it be funny if I rolled a four and it ended up being Wolverine because he's the only one without a build a figure. So <laughs> maybe I should have just done him on his own video, but hey, whatever. It's all in the name of the game. And you know, if you role play and roll dice at all, you know, them's the breaks that happens. I'm not disappointed by any means, but I just think it's very ironic that, uh, we rolled the four tonight as we're trying to build the Tri Sentinel. Anyway, we'll get to that anyway. All right, let's uh, crack him open, shall we? All right, here is Logan Wolverine outside of the box, and I can tell you right now, it's one of my favorites already. It's uh, he's buff, stocky, and uh, the head sculpts are insane. Even the new claws really good um they're kind of somewhere in between the x-force and i guess the old man logan it's kind of a little bit of both worlds um yeah i i already love it i love the simplicity of it i like the short kind of almost batman ears that he has uh i do like the look of these are probably my two favorite logan sculpts uh, to date. As you can see, um, I love that belt, but you know, in, um, you know, in the, uh, House of X, of course, it makes sense that he has that belt. Um, I do like the darker brown of this Wolverine, but this is just, it's just beautiful. So I can't really complain either way. Um, I don't feel like I need another Wolverine figure, but this is pretty awesome. So let's just get this guy. I, I did modify this guy's claws. I did the, uh, the bobby pin trick. And, uh, I don't feel like, see, that's nice. I don't feel like I need to do it with this figure, even though I like that metallic look. Um, I do like the cheesy boots, but whatever. And... This is kind of uh, more reminiscent of Jim Lee. I guess this is more of Grant Morrison's run with, um, shoot, I'm forgetting his name. I'm sorry, artist. That was really good. I'll, I'll put it in the uh, description. Uh, if I remember it, I will just shout it out loud. Um, but yeah, you know, the shorter ears are a good look also. I love both but it just really works for this figure. And another thing I'm really loving is the seam, you know, separating his cowl. It just sells it. It looks like a costume, not just a, you know, take it for granted. This is what Wolverine looks like. This, uh, there's a lot of detail there to make it look like cloth. He does come with a um, replacement head, which is also beautiful. Just a normal, let's say, stoic looking face. And man, I love that. The seam, like stitched leather. It's really cool. I wonder what it would look like on him. See, this is almost, be the best of both worlds right here. Let me get some focus here. If I were to put that on, I like that. But see, the brown just doesn't match, so yeah. This this uh, head sculpt is much better. Looks like um, a little older, 
meaner. If you notice this, it looks like an old school Adam West Batman. Kind of has Adam West's features. But still, still a great um, rendition of Wolverine. Guess you can't have too many Wolverines, huh? Um, <laughs> let's see. What else can I say about this figure? I mean, I love this head sculpt. Let's gonna, I'm gonna put this one on. I thought I put the autofocus on this, but it's having a hard time. Sorry, movie. There we go. On there. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Focus. Yeah, that's that's pretty badass. Um yeah, so what it looks like, it's a repurposed X-Force Wolverine body. You can see with the boots and the braces. Just smaller claws. Makes it more... Sells it more realistic. As realistic as it can get. And you notice his gray stubble. That's pretty awesome. Shows his age. So it's kind of like old man. This one doesn't have stubble and he's smiling. So it's a nice, um, it's a nice detail that they didn't have to add, but they did. Yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. Stand up, Logan. All right, let's go through the articulation real quick. You can tell right away he has the butter butterfly shoulders. It is the X-Force body mold, so it'll be very similar if you already have the X-Force. Um, double jointed elbow, but his biceps are so huge that it um, doesn't really bend all that much. You got a bicep swivel cut right there, ab crunch, good clicking action there. This guy's pretty stiff outside the box here. Of course, the arm can go all the way around, head looks down that far. And get some good, you know, good angle shots. Goes up pretty good that way. So you can have a good uh, cannonball special. Let's see. Uh, there is a waist twist, but I, I don't know if the belt is preventing um, a little bit more than that. I don't want to stretch it, but um, it can twist at the waist. Wolverine can kick that far up. And, you know, when he kicks back, the butt cheek kind of makes it go to the side like that. So, all right, you got a thigh cut swivel right there. Double jointed knee. There. See, there's a, I think there's an ankle cut. No, I guess not. I thought it did. I guess the X-Force one doesn't have one either. So, yeah, no calf, I should say, calf cut. So nothing there. Does have a rocker on the foot. And a pivot. So, yeah, pretty, pretty solid articulation. Very poseable, as Wolverine should be. Thumbs up. for joining me on this quick little review on the House of X Logan Wolverine. Um, I really love this figure. Looks great. Um, the head sculpt though is I think what puts it over the top for me because you know otherwise it's just a repurposed X-Force um, body but the claws are great. The, the face sculpt is insanely great and um, thank you Hasbro. <laughs> Um, and thank you. Thanks for watching this little series. Hopefully, uh, we'll get one to where we could click, start clicking, maybe get one of the extremities, like the other leg, so we can see how tall this tri-sentinel really is. But that's probably not going to be till the next video. Until then, 
Thanks for watching. Stay talkative, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.